Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in prior videos we have taken a look at some products from the company Yakool. Like for example we took a look at a multi-purpose hatchet and the last time we took a look at this multi-purpose shovel. This is a multi-tool shovel. Now this model here is the YSL38B. It generally performed well, but there were some functional issues, and the people at Yakul have made some changes. They've gone back to the drawing board, and they've made the changes to try to improve upon this product. So today, we have the new version. This is the YSL40B. Again, going through the features, trying to tune this up a bit and get it to the point where some of the deficiencies have been worked out of the product. So before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Yakool who provided this for review. They reached out to me, said they had made some updates, made some changes, and believe they have addressed some of the functional issues. So today's video, we're gonna do just a brief look through this. We're not gonna put it into too much use we're basically going to go through the functions maybe compare it a little bit against the YSL 38B just to see what's changed and at that point we'll see if the design changes they've made are going to have an overall functional change and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to talk about do me a favor stay tuned So again, as I had mentioned, the YSL38B, this multi-tool shovel, we did take a look at in comprehensive detail in a prior video. We looked at the overall features, we put it to use, and I did have some deficiencies. So for example, the handle actually slid on the shaft. It was pretty much twisting around to the point where this handle would move while I was using it. It created a little bit of a problem for me. The head of the shovel had a tendency to bounce a little bit. Not too bad, but there was just a little bit of slop in there. But overall, a pretty good product. So now I'm wondering, has the change that Yakul has made in this 40B really addressed some of those issues? Now, right away, as I look at some of the details, I can tell they have definitely put some thought into this. This new collar design up by the head of the shovel, nice and stout, firm, just really well machined. And then when you look at the actual handle, there is no more rubber. So they did some machining, they did a little bit of knurling on here to give you some grip, but at the same time, time you have no more rubber that can slip up and down the handle of the shovel. Now both of these do come packaged up in their own little kit so that is the case here with the 40B. So a good overall case just a simple nylon pouch on the inside it does have the ability to appropriately stash this when you break it down so a nice compact unit inside here you'll see little instructional pamphlet and then some slots that allow you to kind of stash this thing away. Now we're not gonna go into this too much. I'm not really looking to break down the shovel too much at this point, but let's get into the overall features. So the first thing is you'll see the head of the shovel now has this cover on it, removing it here. This does have a little loop on it, so if you wanted to, you could carry this on your waist belt. A good overall feature, not sure I would use it, but the fact of the matter is, at least you can put a cover on the head of the shovel. Maybe you're carrying this on a pack, something like that, and you don't want the rest of this to cause damage. Well, that's definitely going to help, because when you get into the head of the shovel, you now have some very sharp serrations. Now, the old model definitely had some sharp serrations but the new one, they are well refined. These are much sharper. They're cut at a more aggressive angle. I can feel just by touching it, these are quite sharp. So they seem to have made a little bit of a change there and I think it'll work overall better in the end. And then on the other side, you do also still have a sharpened side of this head. So the idea being you could use this for some light sawing if you really needed to. You can use the other side for some chopping and then a reasonably aggressive point on the head of the spade. Not overly sharp, but definitely pronounced to the point where when you go to dig, it's gonna do some good quality work getting into the ground with ease. Now the old shovel head you will see had the pick end, 
This one does not. So they've made a little bit of an adjustment and I think it'll help in the end with the overall sort of rigidity of the head of this. There's absolutely no movement, no play whatsoever. That's definitely a good thing. You really need this to be a good quality digging tool first. Obviously that's the point of a shovel. So if you're adding all these other features and it's taking away from the basic characteristics of the need for the tool, then kind of what good is it anyway? So I think this is a good overall adjustment, good modification and a quality upgraded feature on this newer version. So as I get into this here, this collar I would think has to slide. I gotta figure out, okay, so I see. This basically spins. So now they're doing this a little bit different where the head of the shovel spins and tightens down in multiple positions. So that works well there. That is good and firm, zero play at all. That is a massive, massive improvement. I would say that is a very significant improvement over the prior model. And when you look at this versus this, that's a big difference. And when you look at the actual construction, the 40B is significantly improved over the 38B. Now this is a multi-position handle still. So you can see here, getting the head into place a little bit of an angle you can use it to kind of hook onto things if you really wanted to that's also good and firm so i think the adjustment here and the way they've fabricated this is very suitable it's a good quality stout option very easy to spin here nice threads works very well good and tight that's a nice option now as we go through the rest of the features on this head here you'll see kind of like a wire cutter type of thing maybe you'd use it for some uh, twine and rope and things like that and then this side a bottle opener a couple of different wrenches which are a little bit awkward but maybe you'd find a reason to use these you end up with a scale on the side so in inches and overall nice hardware holding everything into place as we take apart the handle if you look at the instructions Yakul really wants you to do the bulk of your chopping with less than two handle segments. So they don't want you chopping with this full length. So that is important and something to keep in mind. Now, as I go through this, all the materials feel nicely machined, no burrs, good quality threads on the inside. Everything seems to thread in very smooth and nicely. And exposing on this side here, you have your bit. So this does have a driver on the inside. So if you had multiple bits, you know, this gives you a Phillips and also a flathead. You could put different bits in here. It's just a little bit awkward where you end up with this like super massive long handle. But you got to remember, this is sort of a multi-tool, a jack of all trades, a master of none. And that is really where I see one of these coming into play. What would you use this for? Where would it be the most useful? Maybe you keep it in your car. I really see this being a great option for something like an ATV, maybe a um, you know situation where you're out in the woods, you're in an ATV, you end up with some basic needs and you don't have a ton of room, but you have a good quality stout piece of equipment with you. This to me is heavy enough that you don't really want to carry it too far, but maybe if you're going a decent distance, something like an ATV, snowmobile, in a vehicle, something like that, it would work overall pretty well. But again, this handle segment basically being used as a driver of sorts. Continuing to pull this apart, threading apart this next segment. That is now hollow and you expose your knife. So a knife with another little bottle opener. I believe it's maybe some sort of a wrench. Another little hook here, the ability to cut some line and a basic saw. So not the sharpest, but it feels like it would do some decent work. Again, this isn't too bad. I've used these in the past with these handles, and if you really get this down to size, it does work fairly well. So getting this nice and light and balanced, the ability to do some decent work, these seem to work fairly well. Now, as I get into the knife here, you'll see this is a metal collar and then a little set screw in there. That is a revision they made between their multi-tool hatchet and their multi-tool shovel. This on the hatchet was plastic, and the fact that this is metal is definitely good. A little more durable, better threads, and less likely to strip out with reasonably hard use. But again, as you thread this in, nicely threaded, all these threads seem to be machined very well. 
on these handle segments there are gaskets to try to help to hold this together when you're using your chopping tasks so it doesn't spin apart that is one of the downfalls of a multi-tool like this the fact that the different handle segments can kind of separate on themselves while you're using it so when we get this into field use i'll be curious to see if this does better than the 38 model now continuing to go down through the handle here you have a fire steel and then unthreading it here a whistle so another little multi-tool, multi-use piece of this kit. So a good quality whistle and also a small fire steel. And as you get in a little bit deeper, now you have that glass breaker, which on the 38 was on the very bottom. And then now your compass is all the way on the inside, which is not a big deal. It's actually kind of nice that it's in there protected. It's a little difficult to see, but you can see it. If you had to at night, you could use a flashlight. Even right now with the sun, I'm capable of seeing it perfectly fine. And on this particular model, now you have a little lanyard. Now on the prior model, you did have a slightly different feature as you got into this. So as I thread off the very bottom piece, you will see this had a flashlight and then underneath the glass breaker your multi-tool had different bits and then also a wire saw so there are some slightly different features in the older model the 38b model with some slightly different features but i think the upgrade on the 40 makes up for that i think the overall quality of the tool takes the place of the multi-tool facet so in some ways less tools now is better if they're better quality a better fit and finish and has an overall better usability then that to me is a benefit so sometimes having more is not necessarily more in this case less is more so now at this point let's take all these pieces we're going to pack them up get them inside the case and then in the future we're going to go at this with a good hard field use test and so now as you can see everything here nesting nicely together inside this pouch breaking down very easily into a good overall compact unit so that's the thing again this has some decent weight to it overall so i don't think you really want to carry this when you're hiking or backpacking you could use this for car camping you could definitely put it in your vehicle as a good quality piece of kit i think for me personally if i had to use this for something the best use overall would be in some sort of an at TV, something like that good quality piece of kit while you're out on the trails back country good stout overall piece of gear with multiple functions multiple uses and in this case I do think that Yakul has made a significant improvement over their prior model now at this point let's go inside I'm curious to see how much each of these weighs so we're going to take a look at both the YSL 38B and YSL 40B to see at this point which one weighs more Okay, so now that we're back in the studio briefly, I would like to talk about some of the differences. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to weigh up both the YSL 38B, which is the original, and the YSL 40B, which is the updated model. So as we take a real quick look here at the specifications for the YSL 38B, you will notice this does have 20 different tools. And this has an overall length of 37.99 inches. Whereas when we take a look at the YSL 40B, this only has 14 tools, but has an overall length of 39.71 inches. So a slightly longer tool, even though it has less features generally, it is a little bit longer. But what about weight? So looking here at the original, this is the YSL 38B. Getting it here on the scale, 74.4 ounces. Or in other words, 4 pounds, 10.4 ounces. But now the 40B, 4 pounds, 3.8 ounces. So not all that much difference in overall weight between the two. So generally speaking, both of these with a pretty good heft. I mean, 4 pounds for a shovel, that's a good overall weight. These are good, stout, heavy tools. Now, like I said... A little bit on the heavy side for me, not something I want to carry on any long distance. 
neither one of these and actually as you look here you will notice that the overall package size of the original is just a little bit larger than the package size of the 40b so slightly more compact a little bit lighter stripped down in some of the overall tools you have but in my opinion nicer quality nicer overall fit and finish and hopefully that will come out when we use it in the field so there you go guys, a quick look at the YSL 40B, an upgrade to the YSL 38B, which we did have an opportunity to do a good quality overall field test. Now at this point, there is more work to be done. I can't just walk away without giving this a good hard use field test. That will be a follow-up video at a later time, and I think this is going to perform. By looking at the overall changes that they've made, the construction and the overall durability of this product, I do feel as though it's going to perform extremely well. So again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Yakul for providing this product for review. I'm pretty impressed that they've gone back to the drawing board to try to make these upgrades and make these changes to have a product that has an overall better function. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.